Scentblocker Most Wanted is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Scentblocker, the advantage of intelligence. Ford and your quality Ford dealers. Browning, the best there is. Cuddyback, designed in the USA with quarter second trigger speed. And Tree Spider, the new world of tree stand safety. If you couldn't tell from the teaser, we're headed back to South Africa. Yep, the annual trip to Venice Johnny Vivier Safari just got finished, and we've got tons of great new hunts on the way. This year's group was bigger than ever. Scott brought his grandson Wyatt back for some more South African adventures. Well, heck, even Larry packed his bags this time. You may remember that I made the journey a couple years ago, and I gotta say, it's pretty good. But this year, well, I had some bigger plans. Also for this year, we're adding a new member to the Most Wanted crew. Some reinforcements for the ladies side. Nicole McLean is one of our new hunters, and we'll get to see what she can do with the Matthews in her hand. Today we had a game plan change, mainly because of the wind. We've got winds probably 20, 30 miles an hour gusting today. A little bit of rain, and I never see rain here in Africa. It hasn't rained for literally months. The blind we're hunting, I've never hunted. But the other end of the ranch, pretty good little John's over there. But uh, the guys that hunted it yesterday seen a lot of animals, but uh, nothing that they wanted to shoot. But, you know, these animals are on the move constantly, especially this weather change. You know, who knows what's going to show up. See where that dark line comes down its side mm -hmm. to its front leg? You just so right in front of that, right? Where that little bitty tip is? Yeah, that's where you'd want to shoot, right? Yeah. That's right where you can shoot. You can always find good stuff on our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter at Most Wanted TV. Scent Blocker Most Wanted is brought to you by Matthews Solo Cam, Catch Us If You Can, and Rage, leading the evolution in lethal technology. When thinking about a trip to Vinishuk Johnny Vivier Safaris, you just can't help but put together a wish list. We know that last year, Bob had his eyes on the zebras, and Scott, he wanted another Cape Buffalo. But for this trip, Scott had his sights set on a sable, easily one of the premier trophies in Africa. Uh, it's an old sable with really heavy horns, nice and wide. He's, he's flaring up out a little bit on the back. Now we saw him bed it down here, so we tried to get a stalk on him, see if we can get close enough to get a shot there. One of the greatest plains animals Yo, on the continent. You'll see if you see this bull, it's a big bull. He's big. Yeah. How, how long do you think he is? Uh, over 42. Wow. Just... To give you an idea, what's a 42 inch sable? That's like shooting a 200 inch whitetail. I mean, that's a giant, giant animal. And they're regal and black and white. And they're, they're one of the coolest uh, antelope in all of Africa. Sneak 
bumped him out of the bed and he's kind of standing over in the hill. He knows we're here, but he hasn't really figured it out yet. We're gonna try to just let him settle down here and and uh, but if he takes off, I mean, then he's just going. We're probably not, it'd be a long time that we catch up to him, but so we're just gonna stay real still here and just let him kind of ease off. Maybe he'll bed down again. We're gonna try to get him that he's not all wound up. Well, I mentioned earlier that Larry was even gonna make it to Johnny Vivier's this year, but he wasn't really gonna be hunting. With all the people we had on this trip, Larry went along just to run one of the cameras. But like we've said before, it's really hard to sit around a blind in Johnny Vivier safaris and not do some shooting. You know, while we was off camera there, we the guys here, Aubrey called in. They come and we got it out of the sticks and rocks over there and got it over here and they set it up and got it cleaned up and ready for quality pictures. You know, when you go on a safari halfway around the world, you know, the, the pictures and memories you bring back with you are very valuable. These guys are professionals, do this every day. They'll get that animal out of the brush, get it set up for you where you can get some quality photos, get the blood cleaned off of it and get your pictures taken. The Gimsbach here, as Aubrey will tell you, is native to this part of South Africa. From this and Namibia is the two only African country that has this specific oryx. The, the other Gimsbach has different body size and different, uh, even the length of the horns are different and the ears are completely different, but this is our, one of our national animals. You know, and when you come here with Winter Schwalk, Winter Schwalk, how you say it? Winter's Corner, Winter's Hook. Winter Schwalk? <laughs> I better, I, I'm better off at saying Johnny Vivier Safari. Yes, yeah, yes. let's just go with that Fine. for right now. I don't have a brrr in my tongue like you do. <laughs> Good. This is one of the common animals that when you come over here that you can harvest and very inexpensive animal and a beautiful trophy and it's usually on most people's most wanted list. Well, we're gonna get him back to the camp up here and get him started on his way to the table and on my wall. So we'll be right back, right after this, with me and Bob in the blind this afternoon because there's no telling what could walk in front of us yet today. We'll be right back with more Sim Blockers Most Wanted right after this. You know, Bob and I have been coming into your homes now for almost 20 years. And during that time, we've hunted some really good places. <laughs> and we've hunted some that weren't so good. We have recently started an endeavor with Dale Dunn and the people at Premier Farm Realty Group. You know, it was just kind of a natural as more and more people want to own their own slice of the Midwest. You know, we believe we can help you find or sell those kind of places. And who doesn't want to grow big deer on their own land or catch fish from their own pond? And even if you're looking to sell or buy agricultural properties, Premier Farm Realty Group, Bob and I, we're just a phone call away. You know, we specialize in farms and recreational properties, and we're gonna be highlighting some of those farms right here on the show. So if you're looking to buy or sell recreational or agricultural properties across the Midwest, Bob and I can hook you up with the right representative in your area from Premier Farm Realty Group. So get your dirt on. This segment of Semplocker Most Wanted has been brought to you by Premier Farm Realty Group, own a slice of America's heartland. Sendblocker Most Wanted is brought to you by the Whitetail Institute of North America. Deer nutrition is all we do. And S4 Gear, meeting the demands of nature and those who tame it. Welcome back to Sendblocker Most Wanted. We've got a lot going on, so let me bring you up to speed. So far, we've got Bob and our newest team member, Nicole, searching for their next Most Wanted. Scott's on the trail of a sable antelope, one of the most sought after trophies in Africa. And Larry just took down his very first Gimsbug. Not fully grown. 
saying, water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink? That's how it feels sometimes. You can be surrounded by animals and none of them are mature enough to harvest. Just let them slowly get used to you and they a little bit more relaxed. Of course, those two bulls are fighting. And that was the other bull that was wise fighting the other day, I think. He feels threatened by him and he went laying down. So maybe we can sneak up on that side. But the bull were after laid down? Yeah, he went better oh. down. Quite bad. I've never seen anything like this. Holy cow, I never thought in my life I'd have a sable hunt like this. I knew they got aggressive, but I never saw anything like it. He got tired now, and he decided, now, I'm staying here fighting. That's it. I never saw anything like that. And they can, they want to fight on the lay, on laying down. Laying down, they feel secure, of course, when they all can turn around. Sometimes, uh, even Kim's but they will go and back up into a bush. Sable also, back up into a bush. I've seen it when I've, it's been wounded with rifle. Backs up into a bush and that, the, he's standing there. And if you want to try to get closer. Oh, <laughs> he's going to poke you bad. Yeah, it's going to poke you. Well, let's look at him. Wow, I can't wait. He's a big, long thing, isn't he? This is like one of the premier trophies in all of Africa. People dream about Sable. Here he is in all his magnificence right here. Well, we came here to Lynx Fontaine, which is dedicated solely to archery with uh, WJVS, Johnny Vivier and, and Philip. Boy, what a, what a wonderful trip we've had. And this is kind of a, even though we're only halfway through the trip, I feel like this is the climax of the trip for me. This is an ultimate trophy. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And, and just the quality of this trophy and the excitement of this hunt. And we kind of did it, you know, we earned it the old fashioned way. You know, we walked and walked and walked until we finally got an opportunity. I thought we were gonna get a shot at him like eventually just standing there and letting us get close enough. I was thinking a long range shot. And you know, we talked about that. I never expected that he would just hole up there and fight us rather than running further and we'd we'd have that experience wow what a magnificent animal yeah philip i can't thank you enough thank you congratulations <laughs> yeah thank you very much holy cow sim blocker most wanted has been brought to you by iq center the dot for the perfect shot block 
history's toughest target, and Glendale, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. SimBlocker Most Wanted has been brought to you by Winchester Rifles and Shotguns. Trust your hunt to a Winchester. Mission Archery. Ford and your quality Ford dealers. The Redemption Muzzleloader from LHR Sporting Arms. Made for a lifetime, not for a season. And Gilbreth's Taxidermy, the official taxidermist of SimBlocker Most Wanted. So we're sitting in the blind and we look out and there's a variety of animals that are out there but the one that's got me fancied is this black springbuck. Now, I know not everybody's really into them and the other ones might be a little bit prettier but this one to me, this is the prettiest of them all, is the black springbuck. And this guy comes in and he's circling around but the weird thing about him is, is he doesn't even take a pause. When he finally gets into range, he can't stop or stand still to the point where I can get a shot. Then he comes back around, and I'm thinking that there's another chance to get this black spring buck. He comes in, and he's now chasing after this other common. And I'm just so confusing, and it gets frustrating, because I'm like, why can't he just stop? And then I realize, this is the rut. These guys are in the rut right now, so he's not going to be paying attention to anything, and he's certainly not, except that one common. And he takes off out of ways. Never see the guy again. That was pretty disappointing. So that black spring buck, he is gone. He takes off and he's got plans for the night. He is not coming back. And I'm a little bit frustrated about that because I really wanted to take that one. But sure enough, this Impala comes in from the side. And this is the same darn Impala that was there this morning that I obviously didn't have eyes for because I was so focused on that black spring buck. And now that I'm looking at him, I realize this is an Impala that I should have been paying attention to. This is the part I always get nervous. He says it's a perfect shot. I can see my arrow on the ground. It's lit up, but it's never 100% until you see it on the ground. All right, let's go get him. This, this is nice. What an end to the day. It was a long day in that blind. It got warm, a lot of animals coming through. Finally got a shot and this is what I'm taking home. The Rage SS took care of this for me, not a worry. Came out here, nice blood trail to follow, found him quickly and here we are. It's getting dark so we're gonna wrap this up but it's been one heck of a day.